In the last lecture, I explained three problems based on linear and nonlinear systems and after solving the problems, we got one important conclusion which I have written here. According to the conclusion, the system linearity is independent of the time scaling. So if you have a system, if you have a system and this particular system is only performing the time scaling, the time scaling, then we can say that the system is linear in nature. This system can definitely perform multiple operations. For example, time scaling plus amplitude shifting plus some coefficient is multiplied to the input, etc. So the system can definitely perform multiple operations. But at this point of time, we know about time scaling. If the system is only performing time scaling, then it is definitely linear in nature. And if we have the knowledge of other operations like amplitude shifting, coefficient multiplied to the input, then we can comment about the overall nature of the system. So in this presentation, we will try to find out the other important conclusion, which is based on the multiplication of coefficient. And as we have already solved three problems in the previous lecture, we will start with the fourth problem. In this fourth problem, the relationship is like this. Y t is equal to sin t multiplied to x t. So this is the relationship and you can clearly see coefficient is multiplied to the input. And it is always good to find out the functionality of the system first. Let's say our system is represented by this block and the input to the system is always xt. This is one convention which we are following in this chapter and the output is yt. So this is our system and we want to know its nature, whether it is linear or nonlinear. And you can see the functionality of the system. It is multiplying sine t to the input xt. So output yt is equal to coefficient sine t multiplied to the input xt. And here the coefficient is not constant. It is function of time. So you have to be careful about this important things because in a time invariant and time variant systems, the difference between constant coefficient and the coefficient dependent on time will give you different results. Now we will check the law of additivity first, the law of additivity, whether this system follows the law of additivity or not. And for this, I will take input x1t and this input will produce the output y1t which is equal to sine t x1t. Okay, we know the functionality of the system. It will only multiply sine t to the given input. The given input is x1t. So the system will multiply sine t to the given input and it will be our output y1t. In the same way, when the input is x2t, the system will give us the output y2t, which is equal to sine t x2t. Now I will add y1t and y2t, y1t plus y2t. It will give us sine t inside the bracket x1t plus x2t. I have taken sine t common and this is what we have. Now we will add the inputs directly. We will add x1t and x2t and then we will feed it to the system. So x1t plus x2t given to the system. The functionality of the system is to multiply sine t to the given input. The given input is x1t plus x2t. So sine t is multiplied to x1t plus x2t. Now if you compare the two results, you will find they are same. So this particular system follows the law of additivity. And now we will check whether it follows the law of homogeneity or not. And for this, we will first multiply the output of the system by constant k. xt is the input to the system. yt is the output of the system. And now we will multiply constant k and uh, this will give us k times yt. So we have k 
के वाई टी एंड के वाई टी इज इक्वल के वाई टी इज इक्वल टू के टाइम्स साइन टी एक्स टी सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव नाउ वी विल मल्टीप्लाई द सेम कॉन्स्टेंट टू द इनपुट वी विल मल्टीप्लाई द सेम कॉन्स्टेंट टू द इनपुट एंड इट विल गिव अस के एक्स टी एंड देन वी विल फीड इट टू द सेम सिस्टम इट विल गिव अस साइन टी साइन टी मल्टीप्लाइड टू के टाइम्स एक्स टी रीअरेंजिंग यू विल हैव के साइन टी एक्स टी विच इज सेम एज दिस रिजल्ट सो द सिस्टम फॉलोज द लॉ ऑफ होमोजिनिटी ऑल्सो एंड देर फॉर इट फॉलोज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सुपर पोजिशन एंड एज इट फॉलोज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सुपर पोजिशन द सिस्टम इज लीनियर सिस्टम सो यू कैन सी वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई ए कोफिशेंट विच इज फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम द सिस्टम इज लीनियर इन नेचर नाउ वी विल फाइंड आउट वॉट विल हैपन इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई ए कोफिशेंट विच इज कॉन्स्टेंट नॉट ए फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम ए कॉन्स्टेंट एंड फॉर दिस वी विल सॉल्व द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम विच इज द फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम इन दिस वाई टी इज इक्वल टू ई रेस टू पार थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड टू द सिस्टम इनपुट एंड वी विल फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ द सिस्टम and after which we will check the law of additivity and the law of homogeneity you can clearly see the functionality of the system is multiplying e raised to power 3 to the system input xt is the input to the system and yt is the output and it is equal to e cube multiplied to xt so this is the functionality of the system and now we will check the law of additivity the law of additivity for this i will first provide input x1 t to our system and the system will give us output let's say y1 t and it will be equal to e raised to power 3 multiplied to x1 t after this i will provide another input y2 t to the same system and the system will let's say give the output y2 t and it will be equal to e raised to power 3 multiplied to x2 t now i will add y1 t and y2 t y1 t plus y2 t and it will be equal to e cube multiplied to x1 t plus x2 t in the same way i will first add the two inputs and then i will feed it to the same system and the output in that case i will write down directly it will be equal to e cube multiplied to x1 t plus x2 t now if you compare the two results you will find they are same therefore the system follows the law of additivity now we will check the law of homogeneity and when you check the law of homogeneity you will find the system follows the law of homogeneity so i will not check the law of homogeneity you already know how to check the law of homogeneity and when you find out the output in the first case it will be equal to it will be equal to k times e raised to power 3 multiplied to the input xt and in the second case also it will be equal to k times e raised to power 3 xt so the system follows both law of additivity and law of homogeneity therefore it will follow the principle of superposition and hence we can say that the system is linear in nature so you can see whenever we multiply a coefficient dependent on time or independent of time the system is going to be linear so this is our second conclusion i will write down this important conclusion the system linearity is independent is independent of the coefficient the coefficient used in the system relationship so this is our second conclusion we already have one conclusion according to which the system linearity is independent of time scaling now we have the other conclusion according to which the system linearity is also independent of the coefficient multiplied here in this case the coefficient was function of time or dependent on time but in the second case the coefficient was a constant number the coefficient 
was constant it was not a function of the coefficient was the coefficient was constant so it does not matter whether the coefficient is dependent on time or not every time you will have the linear system now let's talk about the time invariant and the time variant property of the two systems in the first system we have the coefficient sin t it is dependent on time and as it depends on time the system will be time variant because we already know for time invariancy or for a system to be time invariant if there is any coefficient then it must be constant it should not be the function of time but here we have the coefficient which is function of time therefore the system is time variant and it is linear on the other hand in the fifth problem the coefficient is not a function of time therefore the system is time invariant in nature so you can directly comment about the property of the system if you know some important conclusions now we will move to the homework problems i have two homework problems in the first homework problem y t is equal to log t plus 3t square multiplied to the input of the system x t and in the second problem y t is equal to t u t multiplied to the system input x t now comment about the linearity of the two systems and once you have your answer post it in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one